Good evening. Thank you for joining us. I'm Pat Paris. And I'm Heidi Alago. We're following the border crisis beyond our southern border in Arizona. Yeah, after the release, migrants travel to cities all across the country. Okay. Adam was in Chicago last week. Texas has paused sending more buses due to weather. You can watch the full interviews with the two migrants on Kega9.com. Yeah, as for those uh, migrants warming in the buses there in Chicago, city workers do monitor those buses to keep them safe. All right, to Cochise County now we go, where the chief and assistant chief justices of the Arizona Supreme Court were visiting today. Yeah, it's part of their statewide tour to meet with locals. Next to the Rialto Theater, you'll find a pizza place born out of perseverance. Yeah, it's also carrying on a family tradition of serving to and two of their show feud, uh, Capote versus the Swans. It features star-studded cast, including Naomi Watts, Diane Lane, mm -hmm. uh, Demi Moore, Tom Hollander. And so much more. Yeah. A local vintage clothing company plays a big role in some of the outfits that are featured on this season's episodes. I visit their home here in Tucson to find out how they meet it big in Hollywood. And the trailer that you saw was from the show Feud, Capote versus the Swans. It was provided by FX Networks. It premieres January 31st. I mean, when you think about their, their resume, Mad Men, yeah. The Help, uh, American Horror Story, now this. I can't believe they don't even get a little credit at the end. On the, on, with the credits are rolling by, they don't have just a tiny bit of space for them. But it just goes yeah. to show how much work goes into all these things oh, we yeah. see on TV. Yeah, exactly right. Good stuff. Well, 90 years ago, Sunday marks an important date for Hotel Congress in downtown Tucson. Yeah, the 50th anniversary of the Hotel Congress fire of 1934, the same one that aided in the capture of infamous gangster John Dillinger. Yeah, the building lost its third floor in that fire, taking the room count from 106. The rain so we'll take it. Yep. All right, nothing but net. That's what one South Point soccer player is. At South Point High School, there's a soccer player close to breaking goal records while helping his team chase another boys' state title. Tega 9 said Tina Giuliano spoke to the match. Hey, did you get that? He scores about 75% of their goals. I mean, and they score just, a lot of goals. I know, it's just incredible. And the one thing I did love is that he is focused on his education yeah, as well. That's, that's always great. Yep. All right, Kyla has one last look at the forecast. Good evening and thank you for joining us. I'm Pat Paris. And I'm Heidi Alago. We're telling stories in your neighborhood tonight from Midtown to Cochise County. And that's where we're starting tonight. The Arizona Supreme Court Chief and Vice Chief are in Cochise County today as part of their statewide tour to meet with local judges. Yeah, our Alexis Ramanjulu is sitting down with the... Thank you. Well, Tucson's classic event, Dillinger Days, is celebrating 30 years of reenact reenactments and marking 90 years since the Hotel Congress town. Now a woman from the St. Luke's home, Berta McInnes turned 102 years a familiar name. Jamie's Pizza Kitchen opened there, especially yeah. when you have 77 before and, it. And we need the rain. Yes, we do. All right, coming up next, Governor Katie Hobbs at a new groundbreaking to save energy today. Uh, how much? Governor Katie Hobbs on hand for the groundbreaking of a battery storage facility, highlighting the state's push for renewable energy. Uh, the governor joining Strata Clean Energy at what's being called the Scatter Wash. Let's turn our attention uh, back to that forecast coming up next. That oh, is that's that's beautiful. something else, right? That coming up on Kega 9, our Adam Clef is tracking the border crisis beyond our southern borders. He's actually taking us to... Sh We're going to head to the east side of Tucson because I am actually showing you what it's like to run a vintage shop that does... But first, we're going to head to Oro Valley. They're expected to actually be getting a new food truck park, similar to the one, uh, Lago, we're telling stories in your neighborhood from the border crisis beyond our southern border here in Arizona. After they're released, migrants travel to cities all across Tucson Classic event. Dillinger Days is celebrating 30 years of reenactments and marking 90 years since the Hotel Congress fire. Side now after a seven-year hiatus, FX is bringing back season two of their show, Feud Capote versus the Swans. It features a star-studded cast, including Naomi Watts, Dan Lane, Demi Moore, and Tom Hollander. And a local vintage clothing company plays a big role in some of the outfits that you might see featured this season. I visited their home here in Tucson to find out how they made